Now to what we know and what we're hearing about possible terror links to the disaster and how U.S. national security officials and aviation experts are helping in this investigation. Chief Intelligence Correspondent Catherine Herridge has been talking to her sources today. Good evening, Catherine. Well, thank you, Brett. The U.S. intelligence community is pulsing the system, and three preliminary theories of what caused the Egyptian airliner to go down are a bomb, catastrophic structural failure, and pilot error or sabotage. They are reviewing satellite data to determine if there is anything unusual, and late today, Fox News confirming through multiple sources that a preliminary review did not find evidence of an explosion. We spoke earlier with a ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee who was briefed on Flight 804. It does appear the flight broke apart in the air, uh, so we're looking for any kind of images we may have collected. Uh, we're looking also at our uh, signature, uh, excuse me, our signals intelligence uh, to determine whether there were any uh, intercepts or any communications that indicate a plot uh, against aircraft in Europe or against aircraft coming out of uh, France. Once the passenger manifests are shared with U.S. authorities, the names will be run against watch lists to determine whether anyone had ties to known terrorist groups. A counterterrorism source who tracks al-Qaeda and ISIS for the government said they're going back through the chatter over the last 72 hours to assess if something was missed or has new significance. While offering qualifiers, the head of the House Homeland Security Committee, who has also been briefed, said this may be similar to the downing of a Russian airliner by ISIS over Egypt Sinai in October, killing 224 people. The threat indicators are very likely that we're dealing once again with a Sharm el Sheikh type of attack, an insider threat where a bomb could have been placed on that aircraft, either one using a timing device that would have uh, started out of Cairo or whether it was a, a, a luggage put in the cargo hole. The Navy has joined the search over the Mediterranean deploying P-3C Orion from Navy Air Station Sigonella, Italy after a request from the Greek authorities. This is an anti-submarine and maritime surveillance aircraft that can also detect debris beneath the surface of the water. Meantime, Fox News is told not to expect any changes to airline security at the airports here for the time being. They are in a heightened state of alert after the downing of that Russian passenger jet at the end of last year, Brett. More on this with the panel. Catherine, thank you. You're welcome.